All right, I'm here to talk about my 19 horsepower Kawasaki engine. I've been having some problems with this engine for the last few months, couldn't figure it out. Did some repairs, I put a brand new carburetor on it, um, replaced the valves, still was having issues. I replaced the um, fuel filter, uh, was having problems still. I spun a bunch of money, and what I came up with was this. If y'all are having the same problem, make sure that the hose clamps, I was missing a hose clamp off this fuel line that goes to the fuse pump. I was missing this clamp here. So it was sucking air, making it run rough because I wasn't getting enough gasoline coming through the lines. And this fuel filter, has a lot more gas in it now than I had before. It wasn't even this much fuel that was in this fuel filter. And you know, I barely had fuel inside this fuel filter. I took all the uh, fuel lines off, I blew them out, just in case I had trash in them. Cause I had a little trash in my gas tank because I seen trash inside my fuel filter. So this is a brand new fuel filter. I took off all these lines and took an air compressor and blew it out. And uh, I also took off this valve, this fuse shutoff valve. Took that off, blew that out, made sure I got all the trash out of that. But the bottom line was after spending money on the carburetor and changing the valves and putting brand new cars on here, I still was having a problem and come to find out, you guys are gonna have to check these hose clamps because they can be worn out or even missing. So the best way to, to see if it's bad for the clamps is kind of gently pull on your fuel line to see if you have any movement. If you have movement, you need to replace these clamps because it's sucking air and it's not enough uh, fuel is coming through the lines. And I'm glad I was able to see it through the um, fuel filter that I didn't have enough fuel inside the fuel filter. Also guys, what you want to check Inside of this fuel tank, you have a fuel line that goes inside of this fuel tank. It's gonna be like that. If you pull it out, you wanna to check to make sure that you have that filter on the end of this line. That's another problem that I had. My filter wasn't there. So that means all the trash that was inside of this tank was going straight to the fuel uh, filter and clogging up the lines. So you might want to take this line off to make sure that this filter that's at the end of this line got a filter here. Mine's was missing. You guys might can get this kit. Or well, this the kit that I use right here. That's the model number. And it comes with everything in it, man. Um, fuel filter, air filter, this is what all inside the box right here. Got, got port numbers for everything. So. Uh, yep. And this is a uh, Compact 44. Commercial. I'm also running a uh, Proton 48 commercial. And I did the same thing, same kit for this engine. This is a uh, 23 Kawasaki that I have on this mower. But this one right here, this compact has been giving me the most problems for some months, just running rough. Couldn't figure it out, man. I was, man, I was getting frustrated, uh, but we got it, so. There you go. I just want y'all to get like some heads up because I, you know, I've seen on YouTube a lot of people having the same problem with the rough item and everything. So this is my setup that I have. This is a 14 foot trailer. And um, basically I'm running all steel. Trimmers, edges. This is a uh, trimmer here. This is the 131R. 
And this is the another 131R. And this is the 91R. And right here, I'll use this for. This is a 131R. You know, you can have all your attachments and everything for this one. I like this sucker because I can pop an attachment on to, to do all my trim work. And uh, I have my backpacks and everything up here. I'm using uh, Gator Line. I'm using Gator Line. Right there, 105 Gator Line. Here's trimmer here. I just put a bunch of my earplugs and boots and stuff that's inside this bag. Let's catch a bag. I'm gonna push more. See, I got the uh, steel BR600. I got two of those hanging up. And guys, I'm telling you, uh, a lot of people don't use face shields. I don't know why, but I'm telling you, you might want to start using face shields, man. This thing is a lifesaver. It saved my face, eyes, and everything from bottle glass, nails, you name it. Dog poop. Dog poop is the main one. You go to a customer yard and they have poop, and you start trimming and weed eating, and you don't see the poop, and the line hit the poop, go all in your face. But you have the face shield, you know, you're good. Always have a first aid kit. <clears throat> That's very important. Have a first aid kit. Shop towers. My push mode go, go right here on this hook. And I have another hook for another push mode that goes here. Got some just some wood knocked down there. Uh what else? Oh yeah, I always keep you some slime on handy. You never know, you might have a little flat on your line more, man. It's very important. These racks uh, came from, well, this rack right here, came from Home Depot. And you want to screw it to a stud. And uh, I just hang my weed eaters up. A lot of people don't hang them like this, but if you hang it like this, you will have more space to fill up this wall with all your equipment, you see. Most people don't hang their trimmers like this, but I'm telling you guys, you can save a lot of space if you hang it. And these little hooks, you know, like I said, came from Home Depot, you might have to bend these hooks up a little so it can hold your equipment off the floor because I had to bend it a little bit. Um, so it can hold, you know, the tremor so it don't be dragging on the floor. They're just swinging freely off the floor here. See that? With no problem. It swings. Alright, this is what it looked like when everything is in the trailer. I got my lawnmowers to the left so I can have this aisle right here for walk down. And this is how it is when everything is in here. Like I said, I have this for my uh, push mow to keep it in place. This little hook, real simple. Works fine. But this is how it looks, peoples. I love it, man. It's a nice little setup, real clean and neat. So that's how, that's how I'm doing it. That's what I'm working with. All right, we'll see y'all.